In Ashtanga Yoga, we start with Surinamaskar A, or Sun Salutations. And this is where we start to connect the breath to the movement, where the breath initiates the movement. And we start with an inhale, and that initiates an upward moving energy, an upward moving direction of the body. So first is Ekam inhale, or bringing the arms over your head. So we start in Samasitihi, and we begin to inhale. We first we start to begin to inhale and allow that to initiate the movement of bringing the arms over your head. So you're fully exhaled, and then you inhale and allow that energy to start from the feet and start to lift the arms over your head as they come to the top, the palms touch, and then as you exhale, the arms float back down to your side. So we're going to break that down piece by piece. First, I want to talk about the serratus anterior a little bit. So it's a muscle here on the sides of the rib cage that pulls the shoulder blade down onto the rib cage and wraps the shoulder blade around towards the front. So these muscles here on the side engage and pull the shoulder blade down, well not down, but towards the rib cage and then around towards the front of the body. And so what it feels like, the experience of that is like the upper back is widening and you're wrapping the shoulder blades around towards the front. So that's going to place the shoulder joint and the arms in a position that's a little bit more comfortable. So you're wrapping around and it feels like the pinky is leading the movement as you reach forward and you spread the shoulder blades around towards the front of the body. If you're still not sure what the serratus is, then a, a quick exercise is you can Bring the arm out to the side at a 90 degree angle and pretend like you're going to knock on a door but instead of knocking like you normally would with your fist, knock with your elbow. So you're going to push the elbow forward and then you notice how something down here starts to engage. That's your serratus interior and that's what you want to actively engage to bring the arms over your head so that you wrap the shoulder blades, widen the upper back and allow the shoulders to move into external rotation so you give the neck like plenty of space. So you're not cranking the neck. You're not using these muscles to lift the arms. You're using these muscles to lift the arms. And when you bring the arms up over your head, you want to come like at a diagonal. So if you come out to the side, then that kind of might encourage this movement for the shoulders. Maybe not. But I find that bringing them a little bit forward really helps to engage into the serratus and bring the shoulders into the right position. And so when you come up, you're pressing through the feet, always connected to the ground, and allow that movement of pressing down to initiate the inhale and then to initiate the arms moving up. And you reach through the pinkies. And you notice how that encourages that activation of the serratus. And then you keep reaching the pinkies forward as you move up. So it feels like you're creating space through the shoulder joint. And you keep coming all the way up. And as the arms come over your head, don't bring them all the way up over your head because then to look up, you're going to crank the neck. So bring the arms a little bit in front. And then again, make sure you're really dropping the shoulders away from the ears and activating into the serratus interior. And then you want to shift back into the heels a little bit to find that center line. Press down through the feet, drop the tailbone and the pubic bone like in Sama Sitihi. And then you're gazing up towards the thumbs, but you're not cranking the neck. Do not let the neck fall back lift through the back of the neck so it's like you're, you're lengthening the neck to look up and then to come back down you want to feel a sense of lifting up a little bit more so you kind of feel like the rib cage lifts away from the hips and then you come back down you float the arms back down to your side as you keep reaching up through the crown of the head so you want to maintain that balance of when we're bringing the arms up, we stay connected into the feet. And when we bring the arms down, we stay connected through the crown of the head reaching up. So it's sort of like we bring in the opposite to find balance. When we bring the arms over your head, we're really focused on going up, so we can't forget about going down. And when we're bringing the arms back down, we're really focused about coming back down, so make the conscious effort to rise up. And then between those two experiences, you find that balance and you find that coming back into the center. All right, one more time.
press down through the feet and as you start to inhale through that inhale start to like lift the energy up through the pelvis up along the spine and then the arms naturally you just want to lift press down keep rooting down creating space through the shoulder joints as you reach through the pinky and ring fingers gaze up lengthening the back of the neck and then make sure the serratus interior is wrapping the shoulder blades around towards the front so you're not using the muscles around the neck to lift the arms and then exhale up and down coming back into the center line as you keep reaching up through the crown of the head all right thank you